1736, Pierre Lavarandre landed on the shores of Lake Winnipeg at the site that he called the Big Marsh, or Grand Marais as it is known today. Originally, the community developed as a Métis settlement for fur traders with the Hudson's Bay Company, who spent their winters here trapping and fishing. In later years, fishing and forestry were the major industries. In 1914, the Canadian National Railway purchased the beach area with the intention of building a major resort, and by 1916, the first train rolled into Grand Beach. This train also serviced the East Beaches community of Victoria Beach. The famous Moonlight Express, for a mere 50 cents, hauled thousands of people from Winnipeg to the beautiful white sand beaches. At its peak in the 1920s and 30s, the resort featured a large dance pavilion, a carousel, a beautiful boardwalk along the beach, and a two-story hotel. Interest in Grand Beach waned following the war, with improved roads to other resort areas, particularly in the White Shell. In 1950, the dance hall burned down, and the Canadian National Railway sold the resort area to the province. Today, Grand Beach is a provincial park, and the beach area is a blue flag beach, which is an international standard for a high-quality beach. The Grand Marais community is being developed for more year-round housing as seniors retire to the community and many of the heritage sites are marked for those interested in the heritage of the community. Much of this history is displayed by interactive exhibits in the East Beaches Heritage Wing, located in the Grand Marais Community Central. This includes a diorama of the train as it was in the 1920s, stories from community elders, and many more fascinating exhibits. <laughs>